Malcolm Golan and Yoram Globus are, are kind of wild characters. They make impulsive decisions like signing up Godard and a napkin. We didn't have paper, and this was on the table of the bar, and this is Mr. Jean Luc Godard. I love this project. I believe in it. I think it'll be a great movie. Godard said that he would do uh, King Lear only with Norman Mailer. Mailer. Oh, yes. That is a good way to begin. Godard wanted Norman to play a writer named Norman Mailer, and he wanted Kate to play a daughter of that writer named Kate Mailer, and there was a suggestion of incest. Part of me thinks that Godard did that in the hopes that Norman would quit, and that led to the famous phone call that Godard recorded without our permission. I must insist that this movie, as promised, which was already postponed so many times, will reach the Cannes Festival. This is my main concern. No script, no makeup, no hair, no costumes, nothing. I was walking with a horse. I think I'm Joan of Arc, and then I think I'm dead on the rocks or something. And I think I asked him, am I supposed to be dead or alive? Am I sleeping? You know, what am I doing? And he was like, Phew. like it was the stupidest question ever. You know, like, oh, dead, oh, alive, you know. You know, it was not even worthy of a response. And I thought, all right, I'm gonna go with dead. <laughs> I'm sure it absolutely was not what Canon Pictures was expecting. When the first images come on, when Ockham started whispering to me, Tom Luddy, I will kill you. Tom Luddy, I will strangle you. You don't fuck with sovereign.